Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy on Marketing, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Facebook video ad. I'm also gonna show you how to create a custom audience based off of people that watch your video, and you can use this custom audience for retargeting or creating lookalike audiences or exclusions and doing some other fancier things later on. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Here I am in the Facebook Ads Manager, and we just wanna go ahead and create and it'll load up our campaign objectives right here. And so you might see that there's an option here for video views and you think you might think that that's the option that you wanna go with is to get, if you're doing a video ad, you want video views, right? Kind of makes some sense uh, in kind of a way, but what this does essentially is just puts your video like everywhere and it will get views. So it'll get, you know, good affordable views, but what you won't get is people engaging with it necessarily. So you won't get like clicks over to your website or you won't get like product sales or leads or anything like that. You'll just get views of your video. So if more than likely being a small business, you want somebody to go to your website to opt in, become a lead, buy something, etc. engage with you in some sort of way. So my recommendation is to stay away from these video views um, unless the only time a small business might want video views is if you're a physical location and you're targeting like a two mile radius around your location and you're trying to like saturate that market. That's like the only time I could see video views being useful is if you're doing a small tight radius uh, for like a physical location and you just want to saturate the market that's like the only time I'd ever recommend doing video views um, because more than likely like I said you want people going to your website or conversions basically so probably traffic or conversions are what you want to go ahead and choose um, either way you can create a video ad choosing traffic or conversions so for sake of example I'm gonna go with conversions because more than likely you want somebody to go to your website and do something there. So conversions is typically what you'll go with. So we'll go with that. Uh, now we can go ahead and name our campaign. So I'm just gonna call this exam example video campaign. And then we can go ahead and create an ad set. I'll just say ad set one. And then we can go ahead and create an ad real quick, ad one. And then I'll go ahead and hit continue. And so it drops us off at the campaign level and we have several settings here we can go ahead and adjust. Now I have another video on setting up campaigns, ad sets and ads uh, that I'll link to that goes into more detail that I'm gonna go to here. I'm just gonna point out the stuff that's relevant to video ads uh, on Facebook. So come on down here. There's nothing unique or special that we need to worry about. Again, I recommend watching the video if you need help setting up a campaign in the first place. We'll come on down to the ad set level and we gotta go ahead and do some things here. So since I'm doing a conversion campaign, I wanna go ahead and select a conversion event. I'll just go ahead with a lead event for the sake of example here. Uh, we'll come on down here. You could go ahead and set the budget and whatever's relevant. Uh, set your targeting for whatever's relevant. Uh, again, that video that I have that I'll link to breaks all this stuff down. So if you need more information, watch that video. All right, placements is what I wanted to talk about right now. So what I recommend doing is actually going with automatic placements, which is what Facebook recommends. And that's because Facebook's algorithm is very advanced. And assuming that you've set up your Facebook pixel correctly and you're properly tracking leads, so you're tracking your conversion event here, which is leads in our case, um, then Facebook's algorithm is gonna put your ads in different places. It's gonna see who's watching, who's clicking, who's becoming that lead, and it's gonna better optimize everything. So if, assuming you, your pixel's all properly set up, I recommend going with automatic placements. It's the best option for Facebook's algorithm to do everything. If you go with manual placements, like you might miss out on like a hidden source of traffic that you wouldn't have thought of. You might think like uh, that Instagram Explorer might not do well, but in reality, Instagram Explorer is like the best source of traffic for your business for whatever reason. So you don't wanna mess with it. Let Facebook's algorithm do the job that it sets out, that it's set out to do, and that's to, you know, give you good results so you keep spending money with Facebook, right? So if you win, they win. So automatic placements is where it's at. And we're not gonna worry about these other options here. We're just gonna move on down to the ad level now and we'll set up our ad real quick. So we have our Facebook page. Go ahead and select the page that's running the ad. If you have your Instagram account connected, you could go ahead and connect or select your Instagram account, or you could go ahead and just use your selected page right here. Then we wanna go ahead and create an ad and we wanna select single image or video, right? And we don't need to worry about full screen mobile experience in this particular video. I do have other videos on instant experience ads, so if you're interested in that, but we're coming down down here to add creative. And here's where we're gonna go ahead and add our media. So we'll go ahead and add a video. 
and you can go ahead and click the upload button right here if you don't already have some videos. So I'm just gonna select a, a random video here and upload it for our ad. And so the video is updated. So now I wanna point out a couple things. So you might get some error messages or warning messages. So add a video that meets the requirement for Instagram feed or Instagram stories, Facebook stories, Facebook in-stream videos, etc. And if you hover over the little eye thing, it tells you like why you're getting this warning. And it's saying because you need a length of up to 100 120 seconds and aspect ratio of 4.4569 however you say that so anyway if your video doesn't fit these requirements well then it's not going to run on those various platforms for example my video is four minutes and 29 seconds long which is pretty long for an ad but in that instance it's not going to run in these various placements so what you could go ahead and do is come on down here to select a placement to edit so let's say instagram feed uh, isn't going to work so if we do this right here we come on down here to Instagram feed we can select here and we can go ahead and either change the video out for Instagram so we have a specific video for the Instagram feed and you just come in here and you can go ahead and upload a video uh, to your account here and it would run in the Instagram feed or you could just go ahead and straight up trim the video if you want to so that way it'd go ahead and run on Instagram now of course you might trim it in the middle of the video and your video wouldn't make much sense but hey it'd go ahead and run on Instagram so I just wanted to go ahead and point that out real quick also you'll notice there's some other options in here like we could go ahead and set up a thumbnail if you want to so you could select something that you know catches the eye or you could go ahead and upload uh, a thumbnail image if you want to do that so that's an option also captions are very important when it comes to Facebook ads or Facebook video ads because a lot of people you know aren't watching the ads or Facebook with sound on because they're you know at work even though most people are working from home right now so maybe now people are listening with volume but in, in the past, people were, were at work lit, watching Facebook videos instead of working and, and they didn't have sound on. So captions were important. So it's recommended that you go ahead and add captions to your videos. And I actually use rev.com for all my captions. They do a, a good job. So it's just rev.com and it costs $1.25 per minute of video and they have a really quick turnaround, usually a couple hours. So that's usually who I use to do my captions, but you could also do captions on your own if you want to, or Facebook can auto generate the captions as well. So there's several different ways to create those captions, but I just wanted to point that out. So that is edit placement. And again, if you want to customize how your ad appears on different placements, you'll want to go in here and and it tells you where you're gonna have some issues. So you might wanna go ahead and fix these trouble places at the very least so that way your ad shows on all the spaces available on Facebook, Instagram, etc. If you click edit video here, you get basically the same options as when you're editing the placements. So you could go ahead and crop the video, trim the video, add captions here, and so on. So it's pretty self-explanatory stuff. I also have a video on polls, so I can link to that as well if you're interested in adding a poll to your video. So anyway, don't be afraid to click into things. You can't really break anything. So just explore the different options and see what makes sense to you and what would help your video show best. Uh, coming on down here, we can add primary text, headline, description, and so on. So let's go ahead and click an image or a location where we can kind of see what our ad will look like. Here's what my ad will look like. And now you can just go ahead and add your primary text copy, primary text, which goes above the video. And you'll see it right here. So primary text goes above the video and we have our little video here. We can go ahead and add a headline then, which will go right below the video. So headline. And then we can go ahead and add a description real quick as well, description. And so there we go right here. And the description usually shows below the headline, which is below the video, but for some reason it's not popping up here. Uh, it might be because my video is too long or certain placements show different ad elements. For example, the marketplace here shows the headline right there underneath the video, just like you see right here in this preview. But basically you can come over here and click on the right hand side and see how your ad will look on the different placements. I should have picked a shorter video so we could preview it more often, but here, here's a good example right here. So we see my Facebook page right here, then we have my headline, and then the primary text right here, and the video is up above. So anyway, you can go through here and preview what your ad will look like. Make sure you go ahead and add like a website URL, so that way people can click over to your website, become a lead, or buy a product, or whatever it might be. Display link, I recommend leaving that blank. Facebook's gonna automatically pull that in and use what they have. Uh, if you do type something in here and it's wrong, according to Facebook's guideline, your ad won't run 
one. So just leave it blank. Facebook's going to put in there whatever they want or whatever they, they allow. So just let them do what they do. A uh, call to action, uh, learn more is a good one. You know, most people want to learn more. But if a better call to action fits what you're offering to somebody, go ahead and select that call to action. And you can see it right here. There's a little learn more link on this particular image or this particular ad type versus here we are on the Facebook news feed. We see down here we have the learn more button just like that. And now it's showing the headline in the description. I don't know why I wasn't updating earlier. Something must must have just been taking its time updating. But anyway, this is what the ad should look, look look like on the Facebook news feed. You have the primary text, you got your video ad, you have your headline, description, and then your call to action button. If you're interested in ad copy and all that stuff, I have another video on that. I'll link to in the description down below. And we don't really need to mess with any of these other settings at this point in time. So what I would go ahead and do right now is go ahead and publish this ad. However, I don't have a payment method to this particular ad account, so I can't publish the ad, but that's okay because right now we're gonna talk about creating a custom audience based off of people that watch this particular ad. So. Let's close this out real quick. And what we wanna go ahead and do is come up to our business tools area and we wanna to go to audiences now. And now we wanna go ahead and create an audience and a custom audience. And we wanna go ahead and use Facebook sources and we wanna go with video. And now we go ahead and choose a content type. And now we can go ahead and select like what type of person we want to add to this audience. So people who viewed three seconds of your video, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 25%, 50%, 75%, 95%. Of course, the longer somebody views your video, more than likely the higher quality that person is. But my rule of thumb is just to go with this 15 seconds of video. If somebody watches 15 seconds of one of my videos, they, they probably will remember me a day or two later. And hopefully that'll help them watch the next ad or engage with the next ad that they see of mine. Because again, we're creating this audience for retargeting purposes, creating lookalike audiences, um, exclusions, and there's a couple other things you could do with a custom audience, but those are the main three things right there. So now we need to go ahead and choose the video. And so you wanna go ahead and select your campaign. And if you have published campaigns, you'll see them pop up right here. So you'd go ahead and select the campaign that has the particular video that you are creating this, this audience from. Now, since I couldn't publish the campaign because I don't have an active payment method on this account. I don't see it right here. So I'm gonna go another way. I'm gonna go ahead and just use Facebook page and I'll select the Facebook page that I have in my account. So let me grab one real quick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select this video right here. Let's pretend like this is the video that my ad is part of. So that's why I'm selecting this particular video right here. And I'll go ahead and hit confirm. And then I can go ahead and change the, in the past number, so how many days. So I might do seven days, so seven day retargeting audience. So then I would name it something like watch 15 plus seconds of ad one, seven days. And that way I know that this audience right here watched ad one uh, within the last seven days. Then I can go ahead and create this audience here and then I'll go ahead and hit next and done. And that's really all there is to creating a custom audience of people that watch that video ad that you've created. And of course, I do have other videos on retargeting and custom audiences and all that stuff. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check that out. But hopefully this got at least the ball rolling or your mind rolling and all that stuff. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.